today we had a pilot session for the Layers of History project and the aim of the pilot was to uh, do a series of taster activities to give project volunteers the opportunity to see the type of things that we will be doing uh, when the Layers of History project is in full swing. But part of the pilot phase is also um, getting feedback from volunteers and seeing what works and seeing what doesn't or what we could do better. We did a, a series of activities. Um, first of all, we had a general discussion about what the Layers of History project is, uh, what Heritage Lincolnshire is, and we talked about the concept of landscape archaeology. So landscape archaeology is rather than thinking about a, a specific site or thinking about an excavation, we're actually thinking about the um, context of sites and how they relate to each other. And so, so we discussed that. Um, and then after that we had a presentation from Dave Start uh, and he talked about um, deserted medieval villages. This is a common feature in the Lincolnshire um, County uh, and he talked about the characteristics that you can look for in order to identify and interpret a medieval settlement. So for example, um, one of the key features of a, of a medieval settlement is the central road or sunken way, very often called a hollow road, um, and those are very easy to spot. But you can also spot things like Ridge and Furrow, and if you're lucky, things like the Tofts and Crofts where you know, people were living. And then after Dave Start's presentation, we uh, looked at some aerial photos of the area and we also looked at some maps and we started off looking at the current mapping and seeing what information that gave us and then we gradually worked our way back looking at earlier and earlier maps and that's called a, a map regression exercise and what we're doing is we're comparing and contrasting the maps from different periods and also the information on the aerial photography um, to investigate the sites and we're looking for patterns, we're looking for changes in the field shapes, uh, we're looking for changes of activity. So for example, about 30 years ago there was a great big quarry site that was right next to the deserted medieval earthworks. So we need to be aware of that because that's going to affect the, the way that the earthworks look now. We've just been out onto the actual earthworks. Uh, Dave Stark gave a, a tour um, explaining pe to people how to interpret the earthworks. And we've also had a go at using a, a dumpy level. And a, a dumpy level is a piece of equipment that archaeologists use to find out the elevation um, of, of the ground or, or the feature on the ground. It was quite tough, but I think everyone got there in the end. <laughs> So we've just finished doing our um, practical surveys out in the rain and we're going to go back to the village hall now, uh, try and get a bit drier uh, and then we're going to go through and have a feedback session with the volunteers, find out what they thought about today, um, whether they uh, like the organisation, what activities they liked, um, thinking about how we can improve things, um, but hopefully they had a good day and they'll come back. Day, really enjoyable. Um, I belong to the uh, Women's Institute at East Barkley and I learnt about the course from them. Um, so yeah, uh, just came across it last week and uh, turned up today with a completely open mind, didn't know what to expect, but it's been fantastic actually. Um, learnt a lot and it's just wanted me to learn more really. I came because I have a general interest in this uh, subject area landscape, archaeology, geology, that, how all these things knit together. So I thought this might be a good uh, introduction to the broader uh, analysis of the subject. And I think it's been very interesting. Uh, it's been very friendly, very low-key, but uh, they've packed in quite a lot of information. So I'm very pleased. I may consider following up with uh, some other aspects. Absolutely thrilled by today. 
because it's inspired me to want to go on and do, do other things, hopefully, with other interested people. Um, it was a friend who advised me of the course and I was fortunate enough to have a cancellation uh, place. I came along with my husband and we both thoroughly enjoyed it and would like to do more work at some point. We did put one or two suggestions forward as to what we would like to do, particularly ridge and furrows, and um, everything was explained very nicely. Both Dave and Elo Eloise were, were very good and were very patient with us and gave us the encouragement to use the dumpy level which I was not very keen to use to start off with but then when I started I thought yes this is all right I can do this there's no need to be worried just no need to feel weary about anything just just go for it and I thoroughly enjoyed the day thank you very much <laughs> <laughs>